<laughs> Dura, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> girl. Hmm? A good girl except for the fact that she peed on my blankets last night, but I was expecting that to happen. That's how they claim things as their own, just like cats do. Ugh. Still got a lot to do in here. We're getting internet put in today. Today, main goal for me is to get froglings back on track and get this beast finished being put together. <laughs> Loft bed. And of course, like, we got it almost put together last night, but that second piece over there that goes up there. The screw holes aren't really aligning properly, and the mechanisms, like the screws that put it together, there's a screw, but then there's like a hollow, there's a, like a normal screw, and then there's a screw that's like a hollow screw that you have to screw the normal screw into. Really screwy. <laughs> and it's just, it's near impossible to do, even without the holes being misaligned, but the holes are misaligned. We were able to get two of them on this side, and I did an experimental zip tie over in that corner. And I know it sounds really redneck, but I'm like, let's just get as many screws in as we can, and then I'll zip tie the rest of the crap, because all the rest of the frame is put together properly. It's just... The grates that won't fit properly. So, go out, get some stronger zip ties, and I'll zip tie it onto the frame. <laughs> At this point, I'm just like so done with it. I'm like, <laughs> like I'm done screwing around with the holes, done <laughs> screwing around. <laughs> it screws. <laughs> I don't know, it's early and I haven't eaten breakfast yet because we can't find the spoons. Dora! <laughs> Speaking of spoons! Spoon! Ladylike anyone? Hello? Somebody's eating breakfast. Not me, because we can't find any spoons. <laughs> Anyways, that was just my grandparents. They're taking another, whatever, they're taking whatever is left at the house here. And, huh, I made, I made a mess up yesterday. Because... You know, my thing is, like, all of our pets are not my pets. They're, like, family pets, except for, um, Pandora here. She's just mine, but... And the frog. The frog and the rabbit are just mine. But all the other pets are the family pets. But still, like, I'm sort of, like, the designated pet person. So, you know, I was running around making sure that all the pets were all, you know... Okay, I got breakfast. And a stinker bunny. <laughs> no chewing on that. Chew on your toy. Yeah, chew on that. Good girl. Anyways, so, with all the chaos of making sure that the pets were all situated and had everything they need, I forgot that I had the June Awake head that is completely finished, but half-rooted, I decided instead of packing her head up with everything else, I was just going to put it on top of my rooting box, 
wrap it in a towel and take it on my lap because I didn't want her hair to get pulled out because it's half finished. And then with all the chaos that happened yesterday with the movers and everything, I completely forgot about the head and it's sitting on the floor in my room and it's like covered up in a towel and I'm thinking, oh my god, that could easily be mis like misinterpreted as garbage. Because, you know, I was like, everything that is in the room is garbage now. Like, I've got everything I need. Anything else that's there is either for trash or for giving away. And I'm like, oh my god. Sitting there last night and I realized what had happened. Like, I'm sitting there like, okay. New house. Everything's good. I... This is gonna work. I've got everything I need. And then I'm like, crap! Ted! Oh. Damn, I haven't told you guys her name yet. Okay, I'm gonna have to bleep that out. But, yeah, my grandma's going there today. And she's gonna text me when she finds the head. I'm sure it's there. I'm sure it's fine. But I'll just feel better when, you know, she texts me like, okay, I've got her head. Internet Sky is here, putting it in. Um, nom nom. Cheerios. Thank 
Okay, well this is where we're getting now. There's the babies. There's the June head that I'm so thankful. All I have to say is thank God for my grandparents. I mean, like, I, I have no idea. I have no idea. I have no idea where we would be without them. And that's not just as for this move. It's for like, since I since birth, I have no idea where I would be without them. My parents too, but <laughs> that sounds so bad. My parents too. Don't get me wrong, but don't know where we would be without my grandparents. So, it's coming along quite well. I'm starting to get an idea of, you know, other stuff I'm gonna have to buy for organization and stuff. The old room was always such a disaster, because I never quite got the organization of it down, but I mean, this room is a heck of a lot bigger than I originally thought it was gonna be. I was thinking when we first thought that it'd be about the size of my old room, or I was thinking maybe even a little bit smaller, but it is so much bigger. And all I can say is like I'm, I have I have high hopes. So we just gotta get our life in order, huh, Bun Buns? Huh, Bun Buns? Yeah. Next task for me is setting up the bearded dragon's enclosure better. Uh, yeah. Alright, well it's pretty bland right now, but he's got a heating pad, he's got a blanket, because he he loves to be burritoed, he's got his UVB, and a little something to climb up. Man, that hammock keeps falling down. So, you know, we're gonna have to spruce it up a little bit more, but this'll do for, this'll do for now. He's all passed out. <laughs> Susie! Sus! Susers? No? Well, anyways, frog fans, that's gonna be all for now. Thank you so much for watching, and we shall see you tomorrow. Keep living the froglings life. Bye!